we do need to find even more substantial savings in the budget than we had earlier anticipated. Now, I'm not talking here about slash and burn. I'm talking about responsible additional savings. The reality is that we need to cut and cancel existing programs if we are to meet our targets, and we'll need to red redirect some spending to where it is needed most. I can also tell you there won't be a lot of new spending given that outlook. This year the deficit has deteriorated from an originally expected $12 billion to $22 billion to $37 billion. Now I expect it's going to be closer to a $50 billion deficit this year. And out of a $370 billion budget, uh, you know, the question is can they find $40 billion of savings? I doubt it. Now, but maybe the real question is, what if they do? What if they do find it? Because Tim Goldbatch had a really interesting piece in the in the Age during the week when he pointed out that if they if they do massively withdraw this amount of expenditure or stimulus uh, from the economy, that would be equal to 2.6 per cent GDP, right? Um, taking that out of the economy, which he said would send most of Australia into recession. So, is that the problem? It's not a question. What Joe Hockey says: Can you find the the, the cuts? He, the argument is, if you do. Look what, what you'll well, do to the where, economy. It, well, it's what... where you cut, and they are pitching it already as our cuts will be responsible. So they're telling us to expect the cuts to be responsible, whether I, they are or not. I think there'll be fewer cameras on this floor um, next year. <laughs> Very. It, it, I mean, I suspect that we are looking now at the definitive labour train crash. The definitive labour train crash. Here's an economy which in world standards is going very well, but by our standards has slowed a little and we've got a deficit. Their hairy-chested notion that they have to get back into surplus, which is not an economic notion, it's a purely political notion, that notion is going to turn Australia perhaps into a kind of basket case of a kind that Tony Abbott has been misrepresenting the country to be for years. So, we're going to, so Labor is going to actually achieve the result that Abbott has been talking about all this time by sending the, com by sending the country yeah, the way, into recession. The way that Tim Colbert put no it, purpose. he said that to withdraw this amount of money is, yes. is, is, is equal to closing down your, your power industries, arts and entertainment and all domestic flights for a year. And that would have a bit of an impact, you would it think. Would, well, it would huge, have. But when you look at Wayne Swan there, you see he has to go to the script to find the word responsible. What we're, <laughs> looking, what we're looking at there, did you notice that? What you're looking at there is an incompetent individual, and, and he sums up this government. You have to be brutally frank and honest here. They've been, we've had Labor for, 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 for five years mm. now, and we have not seen we have not seen them deliver a program honestly uh, with any competence. Um, it's a little sweeping. Well, isn't it? I, Sorry, it's a little sweeping. Well, nominate, well, Piers, nominate they, they the kept, program. They kept the country out of recession, Piers. They it, did not they did, keep Piers. the. They now did, look, Karen, they, you've got to understand this. They did not keep the country out of recession. The globe is not warming. Human beings have got nothing to do with it. Now, just stop that. Uh, hold on. You, you sound like you're, you're just, one of Bob oh, Brown's Earthians here, oh, David. Really, Karen? No, no. It, it distresses you, me that you should think that the Labor yeah, government kept this however, country out of recession. However, what I was well, also going to say is that the problem. I mean, the, the government is saying they need to get to a surplus in order to build confidence in the economy. If there and was, you get a good headline too. You in confidence there, in if themselves. There was, well, if there was confidence already, the, the flip side is they wouldn't actually need to strive quite as hard to to have a, a an official surplus, which is pa paper thin anyway. Mm. Yeah. And yet, curiously, and, this is a promise. This is a promise they're going to keep, and the keeping of this promise well, could well plunge the country into economic economic bad times, pointlessly, for a pointless political promise.